Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Last video we have discussed about um, the seed structure and composition. Today we are going to discuss about seed dormancy. Dormancy. In plant physiology, dormancy is a period of arrested plant growth. In the developmental cycle of a plant, at some phase it may uh, st temporarily stop its physical activity and, and this dormancy can be exhibited by any part of the plant such as it may be a bud, a tuber or a seed etc. Dormancy is a survival strategy exhibited by many plant species. It may be imposed by certain environmental factors or internal factors or also it can be a ge some genetic factors. The dormant structures that develop in plants greatly facilitate in the dispersal mechanism. Dormancy is thus a period of arrested plant growth. It may be due to some environmental, internal or genetic factors or it is a survival strategy during some unfavorable conditions. Actually this dormancy is uh, divided into two types that is predictive dormancy and consequential dormancy. In case of predictive dormancy, that it occurs when an organism enters a dormant phase before the onset of adverse condition. It is known as predictive dormancy. In case of consequential dormancy, it occurs when organisms enters a dormant phase after the adverse conditions have arisen. The example of predictive dormancy is that uh, when photoperiod and decrease in temperature and these two characters, that is photoperiod and decrease in temperature, are used by many plants to predict the onset of winter. Before the onset of winter, they may show bud dormancy. That is, the perennial plants like shrubs, trees, have to go through different seasons in a year. The onset of winter is always an unfavorable season for the growth and even survival of the plants become difficult. And because of these extreme variations, they may enter into a... Um, post condition that is dormant condition and in case of consequential dormancy it is uh, f commonly found in areas with an unpredictable climate now we can see what is seed dormancy we have already discussed that dormancy is a period of uh, temporary suspension of the growth of it may be a plant a bud a seed a tuber etc when a seed matures dehydration of the embryo occurs and rehydration is needed for the germination purpose sometimes even though imbibition of the water occurs the seed may not germinate that is there may arise some intrinsic temporal block to the completion of germination that provides additional time for seed dispersal and this phenomenon is known as seed dormancy dormancy is mainly div divided into many types that is it may it is divided on the basis of developmental time timings on the basis of factors uh, these factors other than the embryo or um, embryo itself and based on, on the basis of developmental timings the seed dormancy is divided into two categories that is primary dormancy and secondary dormancy in case of primary dormancy, that is, when a newly dispersed mature seeds that fail to germinate under normal conditions. That is, newly dispersed mature seeds may not germinate under normal conditions. It may be due to the presence of abscisic acid. That, that uh, stage is known as primary dormancy. And in case of secondary dormancy, that is, non-dormant seeds after losing the primary dormancy, the non-dormant seeds may occur secondary dormancy if exposed to unfavorable conditions that inhibit germination over a period of time. And this is known as secondary dormancy. That is uh, when the primary dormancy is overcome and that non-dormant seeds may occur secondary dormancy if exposed to unfavorable conditions. The other type of seed dormancy is on the basis of factors outside the embryo or the embryo may itself lead to dormant stage. Um, that is exogenous dormancy and endogenous dormancy. In case of exogenous dormancy, 
it is imposed by the factors outside the embryo and the endogenous em uh, dormancy is uh, imposed by the embryo itself exogenous dormancy that the tissues enclosing the embryo can affect germination by inhibiting water uptake providing mechanical resistance to embryo expansion and radical emergence modifying uh, gaseous exchange uh, preventing leaching of inhibitor from the embryo and supplying inhibitor to the embryo and this exogenous dormancy is mainly divided into three categories that is physical dormancy mechanical dormancy and chemical dormancy in case of physical dormancy or seed coat dormancy here the seed coat or seed covering may become hard may be fibrous or mucilaginous that it behaves like an adhesive gum during dehydration and ripening uh, as a result they become impermeable to water and gas which in turn prevents the physiological process initiating germination and this type of dormancy is very common in drupe fruits that is olive peach plum apricot cherry etc and in way in it is also shown uh, in various families such as leguminosae that is the outer seed coat get harder and become severized and impermeable to water and come to mechanical dormancy in some fruits seed covering restricts radical growth resulting in the dormancy of the seeds uh, some seed covering structures such as the shells of walnut uh, the pits of stone fruits and stones of olive they are too strong to allow the dormant embryo to expand during germination the water may be absorbed but the difficulty arises in the cementing materials as in walnut and the germination in such seed does not occur until and unless the seed coats are soft turned either by creating moist or warm conditions during storage or by the activity of microbes and moving to chemical dormancy that is in seeds of some fruits uh, the chemicals that accumulate in fruit and seed covering tissues during developing and remain within the seed after harvest and this is common in fleshy fruits or fruits whose seeds remain in juice as in citrus, cucurbits, cock, stone fruits, pear, etc. And some of these uh, chemical substances associated with inhibition are various phenols, comarin and abscisic acid. And these chemicals or these substances can strongly inhibit seed germination. Thus they contribute chemical dormancy to these next type of dormancy is the endogenous dormancy here the dormancy is imposed by the embryo itself that is the dormancy imposed by rudimentary or undeveloped embryo at the time of ripening or maturity and this can be of different types such as morphological or physiological um, endogenous dormancy may be morphological or physiological in case of morphological dormancy that occurs in some seeds in which the embryo is not fully developed at the time of seed dissemination and such seeds do not germinate and if planted immediately after harvesting plants with rudimentary embryos produce seeds with little or more than a pro embryo embedded in a massive endosperm at the time of root maturation so they may not germinate and this phenomenon is known as morphological dormancy that is the seeds with underdeveloped embryo may not uh, may not germinate immediately if planted immediately after harvesting and next is the physiological dormancy or after ripening dormancy that is after the shedding of some seeds of barley wheat or etc they require an uh, interval of ripening before they attain the power to germinate and the period of after ripening is needed to produce the necessary growth hormones and this type of uh, dormancy that is after ripening uh, comes under the endogenous dormancy the next type of dormancy is double dormancy that is the combination of two or more types of dormancy is known as double dormancy it can be a morphophysiological that is the combination of 
uh, underdeveloped embryo that is the morphological dormancy and physiological dormancy or it may be exo endoderm uh, dormancy that is a combination of exogenous and the endogenous dormancy conditions that is hard seed coat plus uh, physiological dormancy this type of dormancy is known as double dormancy then now let's see uh, what are all the biological importance of this seed dormancy that is this dormancy allows the seed to remain in suspended uh, animation without any harm during drought cold or high summer temperature the main purpose of this seed dormancy is the seed dispersal time the dormant seeds can remain alive in the soil for several years that is in the soil they can act as a seed bank they provide a continuous source of new plants even when all the mature plants of the area have died down due to landslides earthquake floods epidemics or continued drought and it also helps the seed to get dispersed over long distance through unfavorable environment or inhospitable area and the other advantage of uh, seed dormancy is the small seeds with impermeable seed coat belonging to edible fruits come out of the elementary canal of birds and other animals uninjured example a guava plant the next uh, importance is dormancy induced by the inhibitors present in the seed coats is highly useful to desert plants that is the seeds germinate only after a good rainfall which dissolves away the inhibitors uh, the rainfall ensures the seed a proper supply of water during its germination that is the rainfall will provide water for the imbibition of the seed and the, the last advantage is that it follows storage of seeds for later use by animals and men these are all the advantages of seed dormancy like that a single coin has two sides these advantages became disadvantaged when this this same things happened in the case of a weed seed thank you if you like this video give a thumbs up and please subscribe our channel